when I'm looking at pictures, I'm looking for like a little piece of that photographer in the pictures that makes me connect to, to the reason why they're showing this to me. I'm not really interested in a pretty picture for a pretty picture's sake. I think of photographs as kind of like visual roadmaps, and I'm always interested to see how has the photographer's eye or their, how has their mind designed the image in such a way that my eye flows through it. I guess it goes directly from my eyes to my stomach, and so I don't look for anything, except I wait to feel something. I wouldn't say I look for anything. Okay, I got my winner. Really? Yeah. For me, this was really interesting because Susan has so much experience, and Ed does too at Geographic, and Susan has seen pictures from, like, of all kinds of landscapes and nature situations that I've never seen. You guys don't like that? You know, just take the equipment, put it down there, get a thing. You know. But see, this is where your expertise yeah. and experience in this are more than mine. Because I'm like, it's okay, I, we'll balance it that way. Yeah. yeah. But you know what it is? It's like I've seen this picture done a lot, but I've seen it done Ooh, so, much, so better. much better. Yeah. Okay. No and Ed's also been at Geographic for a long time, so he has um, oh, yeah, years of knowledge of of seeing what's been done as well. Uh -huh. the horizon, I, mean, uh, originally. I think that's beautiful too. That's a pretty extraordinary scene. It's like an album cover from the 1970s. <laughs> I <know>? think yes. <laughs> there are times where I have an opinion about something and it's, I'm, I'm unswayable. But then there are other times where I might have a feeling or an opinion about a picture, but I'm easily swayed by one or the other judges. I like this. I don't think it was amazingly well shot, but I think it's a beautiful moment. What like, is not it? moment, but a sea like horse, a but, you, but it doesn't show the tail. The tail grips the coral, right. but it, 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 it. That's the thing. I, I didn't even understand what it was. It's camouflage. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I think it's a neat nature thing. You know, I got I got a lot from both Stephanie and it. Stephanie has a has a very upbeat, positive look uh, outlook on life, and she's covered some really tough things, but she has a really hopeful. Uh, you know, hope with hum of humanity. She's she's very uh, kind and non-judgmental, and the opposite, completely judgmental. Yes, this is my favorite. Bad gutter. Who Bad cares? Gutter, isn't Just that? telling you. I said seriously. Wait, yeah, back up. Terrible back up. gutter. Back up. Do you guys don't think that's beautiful? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh. So you don't think it should be in the next round? It shouldn't be in the top Oh, no, five? I said yes. Sorry. Oh. I said yes. Ed has a very magnanimous kind of personality, very open and inclusive and patient, very patient. So um, he'll look at an image for a lot longer than I will. Like, I'll disqualify it immediately. And he'll wait and... Yeah, but in terms of just wow, wow. It's perfect. It's beautiful. The fields yeah. in the background, the lines, the, lines all, the, the light. Even the lines in the window. The, Everything is yeah. in there for a purpose. The lines on the shirt, the lines in the window. Bruce Weber will be jealous he didn't take this picture. <laughs> I think you're really looking for like a specific way of seeing and really everything in the frame being intentional. One picture in particular that we uh, are looking at uh, was of um, a night scene of a, a man uh, shooting a basketball hoop on the right side of the frame and the left side of the frame is a highway with streaks of light. And that picture made it a couple of rounds in, but in the end did not make it. And I think one of the reasons is, and this is emblematic or symptomatic of the pictures that didn't rise to the top, is that there might be one or two elements in it that are really cool or that are, that are evocative, but, is, but there's always something missing. There's so many almosts. I guess it's a degree of almost. Everything is an almost. It's just how max of an almost is it. You get nearer and nearer and nearer, but you almost never make it. Aesthetics are important to, to seduce the viewer, but not actually the meat of it to connect. And I think that um, in what the photograph is of and how it's done and that personal vision are all the things that you're actually bringing them in to connect to. Great still photography possesses this ability to make us stop and to make us think and to make us question, to make us look. It's the polar bear is my favorite problem. picture of all of these. I'll take the polar bear. Oh yeah, I could certainly go with the polar bear. It's easy to make a good picture. To make a great picture requires this combination of 
of qualities that are so inherently unique to the medium of still photography.